from me? I don't give a f about uh, a trying to classify me as a producer. My beats was whack at one point, dog. I wasn't always having hot beats. I learned how to make hot beats. I'm focusing on rhyming now. I'm gonna be the best. And I'm gonna be charting with these. I'm be chart, I'm gonna come out number one. Hopefully, if it's not the first album, be the second album. If it's not the second album, be the third album. I'm not just trying to say I'm gonna come out and sell 10 million, but I'm gonna do everything I got in my power, and I gotta one up because I just hear my beats first. In this clip, we see a young Kanye West demonstrating a force of personality and self belief that would not only become synonymous with his career, but eventually influence entire generations of people learning how to become a rapper and use Kanye level confidence to power their dreams and reality. In a minute, we'll see clips from the recent Kanye documentary on Netflix demonstrating his reaction to Rockefeller Records staff essentially ignoring his attempts to rap his future top 10 hits, but this first clip demonstrates Kanye as a living, breathing example of a quote from Napoleon Hill's iconic self-help book, Think and Grow Rich. Tell the world what you intend to do, but show it first. The reason most new artists who try to become a rapper are cringy is because they follow the first part of the quote, tell the world what you intend to do, but shortcut the second part. Kanye West from the very beginning knew that in order to be able to back up his trash talk, he first had to be world class at every previous creative act, such as making beats, before demonstrating he could take over the next creative act, such as rapping. He truly knew that he had to show it first because he could move on to conquering the next goal. That first clip we saw was not just another kid saying, I'ma be the next without a project out or with no buzz. This was a Grammy nominated producer who helped lay the sonic foundation for one of the greatest rap albums of all time, Jay-Z's The Blueprint. Additionally, Kanye, despite his superhuman confidence, understood that it would take time to master beat making before he went on to rapping. I wasn't always having hot beats, I had to learn how to make hot beats. Thus again, demonstrating a commitment to show his skills before attempting to blabber on and on about what he planned to do. 95% of cringe rappers simply talk the talk without walking the walk, and that's the first hurdle that must be jumped over if you're interested in learning how to become a rapper or have a friend who would like to become a rapper. But what happens when you or your friend has indeed developed the skills to become a rapper but feel like nobody is paying attention? Let's watch Kanye demonstrate his reaction to essentially getting curved by what would become his future record label while rapping a future top 10 single, All Falls Down. I promise, I'm so self-conscious. She has no idea what she's doing in college. That major that she major in don't make no money, but she won't drop out of pants. So look at her funny. Now, tell me that ain't insecure. The concept of school seems so secure. Sophomore three years ain't picked the career. She like. I just stay down her and do it here Cause that's enough money to buy her a few pairs of new ass Cause her baby daddy don't really care She's so precious Well Rejection is just a reset is our preferred way of explaining the no is just a not yet mentality. Certainly many cringe artists can watch a clip like this and think, well, he just barged into an office and started rapping so I should just do the same until somebody accepts me. No, not so. What we at How to Rap see here is someone who has first developed the skills, shown it through prior successes, and takes rejection as part of the game. Therefore, once the prior success of producing and the skill set is there, any rejection in Kanye's mind was just a reset and an opportunity to think of the next way to gain attention for his music. That Kanye level confidence comes from leaving evidence at the scene of the crime, so to speak, through hard work and persistence, not from randomly just spraying and praying with any old track you've got. Look at this clip from the Kanye documentary on Netflix where he first attempted to get legendary rapper Scarface to rap on Jesus Walks and then after being denied, starts performing his now classic song, Family Business. This is Family Business and this is for the family that can't be with us. And this is for my cousin locked down or the answers in this. This is why I spit it in my song so sweet like a photo of your granny's picture. That ain't you come to hit us. Super hard on Thanksgiving and Christmas. This can't be right. Yeah, you heard the track I did, man. This can't be like Somebody please stay great so I can save face and have a reason to cover my face. I even made you a plate. So food line, granny do it. Monkey bread on the side. Know how the family do it. When I brought it, why the God had to look all through it? Could you tell us a little bit about the um, the joints that you're doing with Jacob the Jeweler? 
I'm working on a line right now. It's in development, you know. It might be a little bit premature for me to talk about it, but I go into the jewelry store and just not see anything I wanted. And, you know, I've been drawn since third grade. The first college I went to, I actually got a scholarship to go to the American Academy of Art. And I've been putting jewelry on layaway since I was like 16 years old. So that combination, I just figured I'll start like using colored diamonds to represent how it will look in real life or how it will look like in a portrait or something. Another aspect of new rappers just talking the talk but not walking the walk is that they don't have a very clear vision of what they actually want once they attain success. Often artists simply say, I want to have hits, I want to feed my family, etc. Here we see Kanye break down in very specific detail exactly what his jewelry line is going to look like, even going so far as to actually draw sketches of what he's going to create. Another great quote from an anonymous source tells us competence leads to confidence. Therefore, much like in lesson three, the clearer an artist is about their competence, aka their ability to execute at a high level, the more confident they will become. Therefore, in order to gain Kanye level confidence like we've seen out of episode number one of the Kanye documentary, utilize an emphasis on competence, seeing rejection is simply a reset, and be sure to show your skills before just bragging about them. Now, if you're one of those artists who is trying to actually become a rapper and take this seriously, check out our video course, The Top 20 Songwriting Secrets of Professional rappers it's totally 100% free by visiting the first link in the video description and be sure to comment what aspect of your rapping are you most confident about we're looking forward to seeing you in the comments it's your host Drew Marcy the big homie for how to rap and I'm out